Hey everyone, I want to go back to Moab. In 2018, me and a group of my friends shipped our trucks out there and we followed a lot of trails in this, this book and we had a great time exploring Moab and that region. And I've wanted to go back ever since. I've tried to go back a couple times, but life gets in the way. Kids get sick, family stuff happens, work gets busy. It's hard to go from Massachusetts to Moab in your own car. Um, and shipping is expensive now especially if it's just one car so it's tricky uh, a couple of years ago i bought an l322 which is a 2008 range rover and my intentions were to drive it out there first go to colorado and then go to moab and then maybe arizona and on from there um, but that didn't happen life gets in the way now i think it's going to happen i have a 2020 land rover discovery now it's got all the off-road stuff and we'll talk about that in maybe a different video but um it's not the most capable rig in the world, but it's a good mix of uh, off-road and on-road comfort. And I need that because Massachusetts is far from Moab. Um, I want to start by going to Colorado. And the reason for Colorado is, again, this book, uh, this Moab, Utah, Back Roads and Four-Wheel Drive Trails, is probably a newer version now. I left it on the plane when we went to Moab. So I came back and I, I bought another one. And then... Amazon said, hey, you might also like this. And I was like, well, I actually do like that. So um, I got this book, amongst others. And one thing struck me in the Colorado book is this phrase. We think the 100 trails in this book are collectively the best batch ever put together in one place. And that's coming from the people that wrote this book, which is awesome. So I really want to get to Colorado, but it's far from Massachusetts. It's about a four-day drive. Uh, probably do it in three. I don't know. So my plan is to probably drive to Chicago, leave the car in Chicago, a couple days later fly back, drive to uh, from Chicago to Denver, leave the car in Denver, and then fly back as time permits, just because that would be, although it would take longer, it would be um, smaller chunks, which is a little bit easier to digest for work and uh, family commitments. I might try to do it all in one shot, but it's far. I've got to kind of do some math and figure that stuff out. But over the coming weeks, I plan to leave in three weeks. It's July 31st. I plan to leave in three weeks and start making my way out west and checking things out. I'm really looking forward to this. I've wanted to do this for a long, long time, and I, I want to document it just so I have the memories and other people can watch because this has been impossible for me to do for years, and I've tried. Uh, it's probably, I'm gonna try to do it as inexpensively as I can and document all that stuff along the way, but uh, I'm really looking forward to, to heading out there. Thanks for watching.